And now, ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker is going to be talking to us about millions. That is to say, onboarding the next one million miners. Please welcome Director of Procurement at Compass Mining, Mr. Vincent Vuong. Hi everyone, I'm honored to be speaking in front of all of you today. I just wanted to say thank you to Bitmain for putting on such a wonderful event. Every time I talk to anybody about attending one conference in the world, I always say that the World Digital Mining Summit is the only one you really need to attend. My name is Vincent and I recently got promoted to the Director of Business Development here at Compass Mining. And today I'm going to be talking to you about onboarding the next one million miners So before we get started talking about Compass, I wanted to talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the foundation for why everybody in this room is here today, and it's why what we do here at Compass. Deeply embedded in the ethos of, of Bitcoin is that Bitcoin is meant to be used by everybody. Anybody can access the transaction history for all transactions that have ever occurred on the Bitcoin blockchain. Anybody can run a node with, the inter with an internet connection and commodity hardware. They can verify Bitcoin transactions themselves and submit transactions to the network. And anybody can send and receive Bitcoin. You can send it anywhere and to anyone with no restrictions whatsoever. Finally, the reason that we're all here today is that everybody should be able to mine Bitcoin. When Bitcoin was first created, anyone with a CPU and capacity was able to mine Bitcoin. The purpose behind this was Satoshi's vision where um, just enabling a network, a decentralized network where anybody could, with computing power, could vote, uh, and, and vote and have a say in what was going on in the protocol. But over time, the industry has evolved because people saw the potential and the value of Bitcoin overall maturing the industry. Skipping through time, we went from CPUs to GPUs to FPGAs and finally purpose-built ASICs and facilities built only to mine Bitcoin. Nowadays, these industrial facilities are reaching the scale of hundreds and hundreds of megawatts. In every industry, economies of scale always plays a part. People with large pools of capital are able to get discounts on facility space, get discounts on hardware because of the amount of purchase, the amount that they purchase in each transaction. In addition, the expertise and the capital required to build, own, operate the mining farms becomes higher and higher. Because of this, the in industry started, starts to become more and more centralized. And that's a problem that we're trying to solve here at Compass Mining. Compass Mining was built because our founders wanted to mine Bitcoin. But everywhere they went, the, mine, the, the miner sellers would say the minimum order quantity was $100,000. And then the hosting provider would say, you need to have 200 machines before you can come in here, when each machine was worth $1,000 or $2,000 each. The amounts required by sellers and hosts never aligned, and not everybody has $100,000 laying around. So each time our founders went back to raise more capital and try to get into this, this market, the bar kept getting higher and higher and they could never join. And so Compass Mining was born out of this. What Compass Mining does is we aggregate the demand from thousands and thousands of individuals all across the world uh, to pool their capital to get access to the same economies of scale that people that order like hundreds of megawatts of equipment and book hundreds of megawatts that these hosting facilities can get. In addition, we share our expertise and try to educate everybody on mining Bitcoin. We have a content team who produces podcasts, educational content, videos, newsletters to provide news and industry insight that normally isn't released to the public. We also have a great support team that makes the entire process so easy and so smooth for everybody to get onboarded where nobody has to worry about communicating with facilities because we handle it all for them. 
we try to make it as easy as possible for everybody to buy Bitcoin. And then together with all these things, what we're trying to do is to decentralize mining again. What we've learned as we've grown this business to where we are today at 5,000 miners and customers is that our customer base is always going to be evolve over time. So we split our customers into cohorts. Our first 250 miners were very enthusiastic about our product, as they, but as closer to the average retail investor, they become less and less aware of what Bitcoin mining is. As we look forward to the future and where we're heading, it's important to look back at where we started and talk about the first group of customers that we had, the, the enthusiasts. So today, I'm going to be highlighting Adam. He's the director of, of product at Compass Mining, and he first found Compass as a customer. He has all the traits of an enthusiast. He self-custodies his Bitcoin. He has over 50% of his entire net worth in Bitcoin. And he runs a node. And he wanted to mine. But he couldn't. He had a couple of issues. So the first one being, he couldn't find a trusted source for machines. He got introduced to sketchy sellers on WeChat, sketchy sellers on Telegram. There was a bunch of websites that were advertising ASICs. But he was terrified of sending large amounts of money to random internet strangers. Second, he didn't know what to do about the electricity bills because power is the largest operating cost for a Bitcoin mine. And finally, he didn't know how to deal with the noise, heat, and electrical upgrades required to maintain his miners. Compass solved all these problems for him. All Adam needed to do was become aware of Compass and also for Compass to earn his trust. So. On the awareness side, we focus very strongly on marketing, specifically on the Bitcoin and mining niche content. One of the first podcasts we sponsored was the Stefan Levera podcast, and we consider him a Bitcoin podcast. And then Voscoin, which is very mining-centric. He's very into showing you how you, you build your own mining rigs or you, you start mining at home. On the trust side, Adam saw that the Compass Mining community had hundreds of members, and each of these customers were reiterating how great and easy it was to work with Compass. In addition to this, Compass accepted credit card. Credit cards are a symbol of reputability due to the ability like, for, for, seller, uh, for buyers to have recourse. And that's where we're at. 250 miners solving active problems, and then as we moved on and scaled up, we're now at the stage where we're at 5,000 customers or miners. The problems have changed a little, but I, and so customers, the yield seekers. The top trait of these individuals was that, was that they love yield. These individuals are at the frontier of the crypto industry. They use automated market makers like Uniswap, Ethereum, Solana, and they're looking for, way, for yield and ways to make money. They heard about crypto mining or Bitcoin mining, but thought it was too complex to get started. There is already a mental barrier in most people's mind that mining was not for the general public anymore, only for large institutions. The blockers for these customers are education and awareness. We needed to make them aware of Compass, and then we needed to teach them about Bitcoin mining. On the awareness side, we expanded on marketing. We originally focused on niche content and eventually added more sponsors like Peter McCormick, the What, what, what Bitcoin Did podcast, and the Palm podcast. Both of these are still Bitcoin content, but really more focused on the beginners in the industry and also on the business crowd. We also had, two, we also had huge press releases throughout 2021. Two important ones were, one, Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, announced that he was mining with Compass. This was a huge trust signal and verification to the general public that knowledgeable individuals were looking to diversify and get into different asset classes like Bitcoin mining. And second, another big announcement that we made was we're planning to mine using nuclear energy with Oaklo. And that's where we are today. But the next question that everybody always has is, how do we get to the next milestone? How do we reach 100,000 customers and 100 we're calling this cohort the passive Bitcoiner. 
They custody Bitcoin on Coinbase or Robinhood. They hold Bitcoin as a diversified portfolio, and they don't know too much about tech. They are unsure what mining is and unsure about how they'd even get started. When I talk to these people, the main blockers that they have are the high entry costs. Everybody wants to get into Bitcoin mining, but not everybody wants to spend $10,000. They want a lower cost of entry. The next blocker that they had was they're concerned about the inability to exit their investment. The Bitcoin that they have on exchanges or the stocks they have on like Robinhood, th these can immediately be exchanged for dollars and they can get out at any time. But with Bitcoin mining, there is no ability to exit and there's no liquidity. And finally, the risk of machine failure. It's a low risk with the new generation machines, but it's a factor that makes everybody stop and think, what happens if my machine breaks 30 days after I spend $10,000 on it? These three blockers have really guided what Compass has been building and um, how we develop our roadmap. So today, I'm excited to launch one of our largest products yet, the Compass Marketplace. The Compass Marketplace enables all of our existing customers to sell their ASICs directly on our website with only a few clicks. So I'm going to show you a video here on how it works. So the first step is to undergo verification to become a seller. You need to create an account, name that account, and enter in the contact information. You enter in your address and then submit some identity, identity documents. Agree to the terms of service and then you're good to go. So once you're verified, you can see all the machines on your dashboard. You can select one or many machines from each reservation to set for sale. You can see the historical profit and gui to guide your pricing and pick the price for your machine and pay out for the sale. From your dashboard, you can see that the machine is now set for sale. Once the machine is sold and transferred to the new user, you'll receive your payout in dollars. You have the ability to convert these uh, funds to Bitcoin in case you don't like to hold fiat. For withdrawals, you have two options. The first one is Bitcoin. Or you can use, you can choose to wire your funds to any international or domestic bank. Overall, I want to say that this is going to be a game changing product and we're really excited to announce this launch because it opens liquidity in a marketplace that like that was that didn't have it available before and this isn't going to be limited to only our customers either we're going to allow the ability for everyone to become a compass verified vendor manufacturers distributors resellers bob joe with five miners anyone can access compass's network and demand we're going to be creating fulfillment by compass where vendors can complete a vendor streaming at our booth or on our website and list machines for sale Compass will handle all the marketing, sales, logistics, customer service. We can do what we do best and you can do what you do best. And all you need to do is bring your machines so we can start selling. So that's just the start. That's not the only problem that we're solving. The second blocker or the first blocker about how um, there is that the, the entry point for mining was too high. We're also solving this issue by announcing the Compass Payment Plan. The Compass Payment Plan allows users to start mining with only a 25% down payment, the rest of it paid over monthly installments. So your machines can be online, hashing, running, generating earnings for you, and you can pay it off as it goes on. So this is gonna be a game-changing approach for people to enter Bitcoin mining with lower amounts of capital. And finally, the third blocker that we were working to solve to protect the users from the risk of their machines going down, breaking or requiring repairs, we've created the Compass 
premium service protection plan. Users will be able to be compensated in expected Bitcoin earnings for any downtime that their machine receives for a machine failure. And here's a video of how to, to add these features onto your purchase through Compass Mining. From the hardware page, they can see that the machine is el eligible for the premium service plan and the Compass payment plan. You go and purchase your miner, you go to checkout, and you can toggle the premium service plan on and off to see how much it would add to your monthly bill. You can also see how much it, the, the, the miner cost will change as you click um, through the payment plan button and, overall, and choose your payment period. So you can select a payment method, agree to the terms of service, and place an order. From the crypto checkout, you can pay with Bitcoin or stable coins. And here we're going to be paying with Bitcoin. And then once you pay, the inventory is locked in for you. So we're really excited about these new products and adding them to the Compass Mining suite. We're, and that's what we think is going to propel us to the 100,000 miners. The next question is, how do we go from 100,000 to 1 million? How do we reach the average retail investor? The retail investor typically has money invested in well-diversified sites like a Vanguard ETF. These people may have heard about Bitcoin or have seen it on CNBC, but they haven't gone the, down the rabbit hole at all, and they probably have never heard of mining before. The blockers to this are supply and adoption. We believe that some of this will be solved by Bitcoin itself as it gains adoption, but once it's adopted, we need to be ready with the supply to onboard these users and get them mining. And that's why we're here today to talk to everybody important in the industry at the best mining event in the world. We want to get to a million miners and beyond. We, were, we are looking to help enterprise miners sell their used ASICs and hosting capacity directly to retail. You'll be able to manage your cash flows better, prepare to make large orders by selling existing machines and then getting the cash up front to start prepaying for our future machines. You'll also be able to get a retail premium for what you're running today. As discussed before, we're also allowing third-party ASIC distributors to list directly on our website, increasing the machine availability and increasing the profits that all distributors can achieve. This is the future of Compass. We're building a platform for retail to join mining. We're, we're going to create a marketplace so they can liquidate their investments. We're creating payment plans to reduce the barrier of entry the premium service plan to reduce the risk of machine failure and ensure long-term profitability. And finally, we're onboarding vendors so that there's more supply and everybody is connected.